。您现在收看的是华视教育文化频道。接下来要播出的是英文翻译一。各位同学，大家好，我是宏光科技大学应用英语系蒋小珍，欢迎收看今天英文翻译第十二讲播出。上次我们谈了英汉语言的对比三，讨论了中英语言代名词、介系词、连接词的差异。其实过去三周以来，我们陆陆续续谈了英汉语言的对比，譬如名词、形容词、动词、副词。冠词、代名词、介系词，还有连接词。今天换个角度来谈英汉词汇现象的对比。首先介绍和我一起主持节目的王教授。好，各位同学，大家好，我是东吴大学英文系王安琪。我们今天要讨论英汉词汇现象的对比，分为两大部分。第一部分是英汉词汇意义的对比，第二部分是英汉词汇。搭配能力的对比。首先来看 Part One Principles of Translation 翻译原理。在中英翻译过程中，词汇是最基本、最重要一个单位，一个 unit。词汇如果翻译的准确、巧妙。就如同画龙点睛，译文会很灵活、很传神。那么相反的，如果词汇译得很僵硬、很呆板，就如同画蛇添足，译文变成非常的硬意、很死意。对，有些词汇的意义在语言的发展过程中会随着时代而改变。譬如英文 sandwich 三明治这个字，大家耳熟能详，它也是有渊源典故的。sandwich 本来是英国南部肯特郡的一个小镇，一直到十八世纪，这个地名才变成为食物的名称。起因是镇上的一位贵族人物，叫做三明治伯爵四世 （Fourth Earl of Sandwich）， 他非常喜欢赌博，据说有一次在赌桌上一坐就是二十四小时。没有时间吃饭，于是就吩咐仆人把烧牛肉片夹在面包当中，让他一面赌博一面进食。不久之后，这种两片面包中间夹肉的食物就因他而得名，而且很快就普及起来了。嗯，很有趣的故事哈，同学们，你知道“三明治”这个字的来源是这样的吗？另外 ，“sandwich” 这个字还可以延伸做动词。譬如说 ，to be sandwiched between， 一指中间那一层，或夹于两物之间。在翻译词汇的时候，应该注意一下，因为有些字词，因为在时代背景不同，在古代和现代会有截然不同的意义。那又譬如说 ，found 这个字，在十六世纪英国文艺复兴时期，莎士比亚的戏剧中，意思是 silly， 愚蠢。而在现代英语当中，常常看到人家用 be found of， 它的意思确实是喜欢。张培基编著的《英汉翻译教程》中，将英汉与词汇现象的对比，就其词汇意义上的对比，分为四种情况。第一，英语词汇所表示的意义，在汉语中可以找到完全对应的词汇来表达。第二，英语词汇所表示的意义，在汉语中仅能找到部分对应的词汇来表达。第三，英语词汇所表示的意义，在汉语中无法找到最后确定的词汇来表达。第四
，英语词汇意义灵活，同一词汇在不同上下文中可能有不同的含义，而汉语词汇的意义比较稳定，含义也比较偏窄。英语词汇很多具有一词多义的现象，英文叫 p o l y s e m y 汉语词汇为单义词 m o n o s o m y 好，以下我们分别就这四类意义的对比来举例说明。第一，英语词汇中有些词汇的意思，在汉语中可以找到几乎完全对应的词汇。以下我们看到这些词汇，就是汉语当中与英文有。很清楚的对应关系，在不同的上下文，他们的意义都不会改变。他们通常都是属于专有名词、日常生活的事物或是术语等等。Food and Drug Administration， 食品药物管理局。Liberty Party， 自由党。Piano Keys， 钢琴键。Chocolate Bar， 巧克力棒。Dance Hall， 舞厅。Homesick， 思乡的。Virtual reality, 虚拟实境 Semiconductor industry, 半导体产业 Neural implant technician, 神经移植技术人员 Senior caregiver, 银发族看护 Public health, 公共卫生 Project leader, 专案负责人 Task assignment, 任务分配 Central bank, 中央银行 Commercial bank, 商业银行 Internet of things. 物联网 ，airborne fungus， 空气真菌 ，fog forward thinking， 前瞻性思考 ，cold war， 冷战 ，British buildings， 英国布丁。英语中有些词汇的意义，在汉语中只有部分对应的词汇。这些英语词汇含义包括比较广，翻译成汉语时需要看情况而调整，成为。比较狭义的对应词汇，例如 Mary， 嫁娶 ；Aunt， 姑母、姨母、舅母、婶母、伯母 ；Uncle， 姑父、姨父、舅父、叔父、伯父 ；Brother， 兄弟 ；Sister， 姐妹 ；Brother-in-law， 英兄、英弟 ；Sister-in-law， 妯娌、姑嫂 ；Parent。父亲、母亲 ，grandparent， 祖父、祖母、外公、外婆 ，grandfather， 祖父、外公 ，grandmother， 祖母、外婆。英语当中还有一些词汇，它的意义在汉语当中无法找到最后确定的词汇。这些英语词汇往往含有特殊文化背景或是历史渊源的含义，所以翻译成汉语的时候。也需要看情况而调整，成为特别的对应词汇。譬如 ，potluck， 在美国常见的聚餐方式，多为留学生或教会教友们聚餐时采用，以及每一参加者自备一道菜或甜点。聚餐时，菜色种类多，又较经济。Soft money， 在美国选举时，捐款人并非直接捐款，而是透过。认捐广告或宣传物等认捐方式来捐助候选人。Silent collection， 在美国教堂做礼拜，最后一项是 silent collection， 就指奉献金钱时，请捐献纸币或支票，响叮当的零钱是不再接受之列的。Telecommuter， 在美国近来有些公司雇主愿意让员工留在家中工作 ，work at home。员工不必长途开车上班，可省去塞车之苦，只需定期回公司开会。Baby kisser， 在美国选举期间，政客为了争取选票，无论真心还是作秀，喜欢在公共场合中亲吻群众怀中的婴儿，以讨好群众，建立爱民的形象，意指假仙、爱拍马屁之人。The Midas Touch, 源自希腊神话中的麦达斯国王。任何物体经他触摸，都会立刻变成金子，一指赚钱的本领。Tertiary sector, 不生产实质产品，主要透过行为提供生产力并获得报酬的行业
指第三级产业，俗称服务业。Slam dunk。Slam 就是猛扔、猛击 ，dunk 是将某物进入液体，这是篮球术语，强力灌篮，引申是必成之事。Green thumb 指栽培植物的特殊才能，形容人精于园艺，直译是绿拇指或绿手指。Petty apart height 或者是 petty apart height。南非共和国一九四八年到一九九四年间所实行的种族隔离政策，小隔离法就是禁止黑白人种通婚。第四是指词汇，英语的词汇意义灵活。那么同一词汇在不同上下文中可能有不同的含义，而汉语词汇的意义比较稳定，含义也比较偏窄。譬如英语 mind。这个字的意义，在汉语中可以分别和好几个词汇对应，翻译的时候要看情况而有所调整。He has a broad mind. 他有宽大的心胸。She has a quick mind. 她的脑筋转得很快。A sound mind in a sound body. 有了健全的身体，才有健全的心灵。So many men, so many minds. 人多心多。Bill improved his mind by reading. 比尔借阅读以陶冶自己的心智。The boss has changed his mind. 老板改变了他的想法。He did not speak his mind. 他未表明自己的意见。Mary has no mind to join our team. 玛丽不想参加我们的队伍。Perhaps, Mr. Smith. Has lost his mind. 史密斯先生或许已经失去了理性。Is the patient in his right mind? 病人的神经是否正常 ？Keep this in mind. 记着这件事。They are the best minds in the country. 他们是全国最杰出的人才。此外，还要特别注意到，英语有一些词汇的一词多义性，譬如说英文 line 这个字。那它翻译成汉语的时候，要特别注意它前后文的关系，要分别搭配不同的词汇。Draw a line under the word. 在字底下画线。Grandma's face is full of lines. 祖母的脸上满是皱纹。Where is your new fishing line? 你的新钓鱼线在哪里 ？The line is busy. 电话线忙线中。The students are waiting in a line for the bus. 学生们正排队等公车。She got a job at China Airlines. 她在中华航空公司谋得一份工作。She dropped a line to David asking him to come. 她留下一则短信，请大卫来一趟。The actress was busy memorizing her lines. 那位女演员正忙着背她的台词。What is your line? 你的职业工作是什么 ？She comes of a noble line. 她来自贵族家庭。She bought a sport car of fine lines. 她买了一部流线型的跑车。Don't cross the state line. 不要跨越州国家界限。接着我们要谈第二部分，英汉词汇搭配能力的对比。英语词汇和汉语词汇各有其习惯用法的搭配方式，翻译时要避免搭配不当的错误。譬如英语 perform 这个字，可以当作 do 或 carry out 来使用，但翻译成汉语时，不可千篇一律的翻译成做实行，需要调整成搭配习惯语法的汉语词汇。To perform what one promised to do. 调整成履行诺言 ，to perform your task。调整成完成工作 ，to perform an operation。调整成动手术 ，to perform one's duty。调整成尽义务。同样的道理，汉语中有一些词汇在翻译成英语英语的时候，也要特别顾及英语词汇的搭配，譬如。场这个中文字
翻译成英文时，也要注意搭配不同的英语词汇。运动场 （playground）、棒球场 （baseball field）、排球场 （volleyball court）、篮球场 （basketball court）、网球场 （tennis court）、溜冰场 （skating rink）、高尔夫球场 （golf course）。接着我们来看 Part Two, famous quotations, 中外名言。Haste makes waste. 欲速则不达。He who plays with fire perishes. 玩火自焚。To show one's true colors. 原形毕露。Pride shall have a fall. 骄者必败 Misfortune never comes singly. It never rains, but it pours. 祸不单行接着我们来看 dialogue 英文绘画 <music> 在观看这一段绘画之前。我们先解说绘画当中一些词汇和片语 ，vocabulary and expressions， 帮助同学了解内容。Recyclable， 可回收的。Stuff， 东西。Principle， 主要的。Livelihood， 生活的方式。Crunch， 财政困难。Recession， 经济衰退。Be laid to rest， 停止。Uniform invoice， 统一发票。Redeem, 兑取现金 Winning, 中奖 Total, 总计 Electric, 电 Bill, 账单 Recall, 记得 Official stamp, 政府印花 Surcharge, 附加税额外费 Odd, 奇怪 Teller, 出纳员 Dash, 急奔 Receipt, 收据 Report, 报告 file, 提出申请 income tax, 所得税 return, 退还税。今天的英文绘画内容是谈论经济不景气时，大家都在收集或兑换统一发票。Hi, just a minute. I'll be right with you. Who was that old guy? No idea of his name. That is, he's one of those who collects recyclable stuff, cans, bottles, boxes, and so on, to earn extra cash. More likely, his principal livelihood. Very possible. Everybody seems to be in something of a crunch nowadays. What with this recession, that just won't be laid to rest. Which is why we both collect those uniform invoices. Did you redeem your winning numbers yet? Sure did. Right after lunch, four invoices totaling four thousand and six hundred and eighty dollars. Almost enough to pay your landlady her monthly rent, along with the water and electric bills. Recall the twenty percent tax, as well as a little more added. For an official stamp of some kind, wasn't it? Surcharge, as we would call it back stateside. But such an odd hour to be there. I just now saw the tailor let you in as I was driving by, and it's after six o'clock, long past closing time. Yes, I dashed back over there on my bike when he called to say he's supposed to keep the receipt. That's because. I need not report it when filing an income tax return. Hi, just a minute. I'll be right with you. Hi. Who was that old guy? No idea of his name. That is, he's one of those who collects recyclable stuff, cans, bottles, boxes, and so on, to earn extra cash. More likely, his principal livelihood. Very possible. Everybody seems to be in something of a crunch nowadays. What with this recession, that just won't be laid to rest. Which is why we both collect those uniform invoices. 
Did you redeem your winning numbers yet? Sure did, right after lunch. Four invoices totaling $4,600. Almost enough to pay your landlady her monthly rent, along with the water and electric bills. Recall the 20% tax as well as a little more added for an official stamp of some kind, wasn't it? Surcharge, as we would call it back stateside. But such an odd hour to be there. I just now saw the tailor let you in as I was driving by, and it's after 6 o'clock, long past crossing time. Yes, I dashed back over there on my bike when he called to say he's supposed to keep the receipt. That's because I need not report it when filing an income tax return. 接着我们从刚才英文绘画内容挑一些选择题,questions来问同学. Question 1. What is most of this conversation about? A. Economics B. Ecology C. Academics D. Patriotism A. Economics Question 2. What time of day does this conversation occur? A. Early morning B. Late morning, C. Early evening, D. Late evening. C. Early evening. Question 3. What has the first speaker just been? A. Airport, B. Bank, C. Church, D. Delicatessen, B. Bank. Which of the following is not mentioned in the dialogue? A. Transportation, B. Housing, C. Finances. D. Medicine. D. Medicine. 最后,来看 Part 4. Let's practice. 句型翻译练习。我们从英文绘画里面挑出几个例句来做句型翻译练习。No idea of his name, that is. 我不知道他的名字。have no idea 就是不知道,不了解。我真不知道他到底在说什么。I've no idea about what does he say. I've no idea about what he said. 我们看哪个有错,第一个错了。基本上这是一句肯定句,不能用 what does he say 用问句放进去哈,要 what he said. 好,我们另外翻翻看。I'm in the dark as to his words. 好, in the dark 说在黑暗里面我真的不知道他说什么下面他对我的个性完全不了解我们提示一下个性是personality You have no idea of my personality You have not idea of my personality 我们看哪一个错 第二个错了 Have no idea 不是have not idea 这些错了来另外翻翻看 you know little or nothing about what makes me tick. 好, little or nothing, 一点都不了解我是怎么样的人, what makes me tick. He's one of those who collect recyclable stuff to earn extra cash. 他是那些靠拾荒赚外快的人之一, 我们学习 one of 什么之一, 他是球队中最强壮的人之一, he is one of the strongest players on our team. He is one of the strongest player on our team. 看哪边有错,第二个错了。同学记得, one of什么什么之一,后面的名词一定要复述,这边要 players. 好,我们另外翻翻看。Few of our teammates can match him for sheer power. 好,teammate就队员嘛,match him是跟他一样,配得上他。Sheer power完全是这个很强的力量 强壮的意思六人行是我最喜爱的影集之一 我们提示一下 Friends就是我们电视的六人行 Friends is one of my favorite TV dramas Friends is one of my favorite TV drums 我们看哪边有错第一个错了为什么呢 因为电视影集或者书籍,我们都英文要用斜体字,Friends要斜体字。另外翻翻看, 
Among television dramas, I especially like Friends. 哈 ，among 什么，在什么之间哈？那复数 dramas， 我特别爱什么 ？Especially like. It is more likely his principal livelihood. 更可能是他的主要收入。我们要学 likely 可能的。这包包可能相当昂贵。The bag is likely to be very expensive. The bag is likely to be more expensive. 好，我们看哪边错？第二个错，相当是 very， 不是 more。more 是更比较昂贵，它没有比较级，所以不能用 more expensive。我们来另外翻翻看。This bag will probably cost a bundle. 好 ，likely 跟 probably 是一样。Cost a bundle. Bundle 是一束，很多的意思，很多钱哈。它。更有可能成为一位老师。He is much likely to become a teacher. He is more likely to become a teacher. 好，我们看哪个错了。第一个错了。我们说很有可能 ，more likely， 很有可能比较，那不是 much， 是 more。我们另外翻翻看。Chances are he will teach as a career. 好 ，chances are 这常用到，很可能怎么样？这个片也会用。下面。Recall the twenty percent tax, as well as a little more added for an official stamp of some kind, wasn't it? 你最好记得百分之二十的税和一些印花税之类的，不是吗 ？As well as 和什么一样，和也的意思。我祖父和我父亲一样，都是这家俱乐部的会员。My father, as well as my grandfather, is a member of this club. My father, as well as my grandfather, are the member of this club. 看哪边有错？第二个错。同学，我们要注意一下 ，a as well as b 的时候，这个 be 动词 r 或者 is 怎么挑呢？你要看前面的 my father， 它是一个单数，要用 is 哈，不能用 r。另外翻翻看 ，both my father and grandfather belong to this club. 好，就 both 也可以两者哈。他们高大的中锋与强壮的前锋是我们球队的噩梦。Their huge centers, as well their strong forwards, are the nightmare of our team. Their huge centers, as well as their strong forwards, are the nightmare of our team. 哪边错了？第一个错，我们在学 as well as 和什么？这个不能省掉 as。另外翻翻看。Our opponents' tall centers and muscular forwards pose a formidable threat to us. Formidable, 非常大的一个威胁，就噩梦的意思。He is supposed to keep the receipt. 他应该留下收据。Be supposed to 是应该的意思。我以为我们今天要上馆子呢。I thought we were supposed to dine out today. I thought we are. Supposed to dine out today. 我们看哪边有错。好，这个 we are 前面是 thought 是过去式，应该相对用过去式 were。另外翻翻看。I had believed we would eat in a restaurant today. 好，这是我们都知道哈。下面你本来上午就应该到这里了。You were supposed being here in the morning. You were supposed to be here. In the morning, 看哪个错了。第一个 supposed to 不是用 being。另外翻翻看。You should have arrived here in the morning. 好 ，You should have 是你应该来而没有来哈。好，谢谢大家的收看。下次我们来谈英汉语言的词句序结构，讨论英汉语言词序句序的结构，因为语法、修辞、习惯的不同而有所差异。下回见。拜拜，拜拜。